Hi, good morning or good afternoon. It's Saturday and I want to bring you into my bedroom because I have something to show you. All right, it's just you and me. We're going to have some fun with makeup. I wanted to show you how I set up my makeup mirror. This vanity is created by a mirror that my mom had on her dresser and then this old-fashioned cart and you see I have it right in front of the window. So now I'm going to show you lighting. All right, do we want to make ourselves up in this light? No, because we can't see anything. Do we want to make ourselves up in this light? Well, it might be a lot more realistic when you get close and you see the texture of your skin, if you put on a lot of foundation and stuff and powder, then you'll see what happens. But the best light to really see is beauty lighting. But as you can tell, if I put a bunch of stuff on my skin and then I go into this light, hmm, and this is the kind of light the world sees you in. And they also see you in this kind of light. So you see the difference? Well, <laughs> what just happened? I just lost about 10 years. <laughs> well, maybe not everywhere. <clears throat> All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to set the computer down right where I make myself up, pull up my chair. I just got back into my bedroom. I was living downstairs in the dining room because Boom needed every penny we had, so we rented out our five bedrooms in this big old house, and we made our bedroom in the dining room and had the living room and had our own little suite, and I got my bedroom back, so the walls are bare. I'm still decorating. All right, this is it. You wanted to know what to do with boomsticks when you're wearing lots of other makeup, so I'm going to show you the order a whole ball of wax. Boomstick Glow. Moisturizer. Dense. Intense. Wonderful. Moisturizer. And I keep looking at myself instead of you, so I'm going to look at you as much as possible. All right. Boom Silk. A liquid version of Boomstick Glow. They are exactly the same things. This is stiff, so it has more beeswax. This is more liquidy, so it has more water and olive oil. But they are the exact same ingredients. They are both moisturizers. They are both meant to go on your skin first. And if that's all you want, then that's all you have to do. So this is convenient. You can put it everywhere. Because there's a little more beeswax, it will sit on top of the skin a little more than Boom Silk. So I'm putting this on just to show you. The way I put on Boom Silk, it, you notice sometimes the olive oil pools. Just take your finger, mix it in there. I take it like this, and I mix it on my hands. Mm. Mm. Okay. I'm going to do this really fast because I have other things I want to say today this Saturday. You sent in the best questions and I'm literally going to go through them one by one. I'm going to mention your first names. All right, foundation. When I do wear a foundation, I wear Armani's Luminous Silk. It comes in the most incredible realistic variety of colors and although using a sponge uses up a bunch more than you may want because this is sixty dollars a bottle but it will last a very, very long time. So if you don't want to use a sponge, take a little in your finger. What I do is I put it on the top of the thing there because I don't want to use that much. Put it in, wherever your skin is, you put foundation. It will change the texture a little bit. So with your finger, you can do it like that. But I find it gets a little too thick. So I do it like that. So see, I wipe it across the top, 
So, first moisturizer, then foundation. Right? So you're putting this everywhere. Now you don't have to. You can use foundation like a concealer and just use it in specific places. Now one of you asked, how do I get rid of under eye circles, dark circles? Is it possible? First off, it could just be your ancestry. And some people think they make you look smoky and sexy. But we have this idea it makes us unhealthy. It could come from lack of health. It could come from allergies. If you have dark circles and you want to get rid of them, it is next to impossible. You can cover the darkness, but you're adding texture. So you have to choose. Do I want more texture under my eyes or with no circles? Or do I just want to keep the dark circles and keep my skin dewy and moisturized? You have to make a choice. That is from a makeup artist who's been in the business 35 years. You cannot eliminate under eye circles without adding texture because you need a dense, thick concealer that's very sticky and stays put because you do not want to put powder under there. Powder and the color should match your skin exactly or be a tiny, tiny, tiny bit darker because when you put any color lighter than your skin tone, you go ashy. No matter what color your skin is, if you go lighter, a lighter foundation or concealer on your skin, it uh, makes your skin look really dead and really scary. All right, so you start with your moisturizer. Then you put on your foundation. And that's the order in which you do it. All right, now we're going to put our other two boomsticks on. I like to start with boomstick color. But it doesn't matter. You could put the glimmer on first. All right. So. I don't have my glasses on. <laughs> That's the good thing about boomsticks. You can kind of do it blind. They're so forgiving. The main thing is blend, blend, blend. I put a little here and here. Even things out. Sometimes if I have an uh, open shirt, I'll put a little on my chest. And as you've seen in my other demo videos, when you first put it on, you get a little red. All right, now we're going to put on glimmer over the foundation, which is over the moisturizer. Okay, put a little here. I love it there. I think it's beautiful. Some people like to put it on their lips. I'm not so crazy about it on my lips. Okay, now after I do all that, I do my eyebrows. I'm not sure why. Um, you definitely do your eyebrows after your foundation, but what order you do it um, is... So my eyebrows are just weird. <laughs> they are barely there. I have a line. I have a few hairs, but I do like to put on my eyebrows. So I get my pencil really sharp and I kind of go in the direction of the hair. You can also use a uh, beveled brush with an eyeshadow. And notice that your hair on your eyebrows lightens as you age. Not always, but quite often. And you want to keep them soft. You don't want to draw hard lines on your skin. And follow your natural brow line. Do not try to change the shape and do not try to match one eyebrow to the other. Your face is asymmetrical. And if you make your eyebrows exactly the same, it's going to show how asymmetrical your whole face is. So do each brow for itself. One may be a little more arched. And those little nuances are nice. It, it's, it's the character in your face. If you have a little crooked smile, all of that is good. That's what we love about our friends. Your unique, special features that belong just to them. So now, if you want to do an eyeliner. And I just discovered this one. And this is really good. I got this at uh, Walgreens. You can get it at C... CVS. Need my glasses. 
um, Rimmel. Rimmel. It's a coal stick. This may show up backwards on the uh, screen. So I'm moving really fast. Now, I also have this super incredible 15 power uh, magnifying mirror. And I'm telling you, you can see things you never knew were there. But I find it really, really helpful. Just, you know, if things are a little off balance. And then I also have this less extreme uh, magnifying mirror, which actually works. That's what I was using for my eyebrows. Okay, so this thing screws up. And I like to put it just at the base where my eyelashes grow in. Because I don't want to call attention to the makeup. I just want to give my eye a little bit more definition. And I do this when uh, I'm going to be on camera. And yeah, if I just feel like being a little snazzier, a little more dramatic. Uh, this is a nice soft pencil, but it does stay put. And uh, I think it's great. All right, so those of you who do want to c cover their under eye circles, um, the makeup on the top of the jar is now a little drier. So like I said, if you put it on the top there and then it dries, it makes it a little easier to place. And you put that right in here and right under here. And the reason I like to use a foundation for a concealer is because concealers tend to be very thick. Now I'm going to use this concealer, which is a little too light for me, but I'm going to put it here. Sorry. Put it right there. Now you see it's a little light. However, <clears throat> no, I hope this works. It adds more texture than, I don't know if you can see it, but the, the uh, foundation is thinner, but you can still get it to be relatively opaque. And I can't see a damn thing. I'm so blind. And the more I wear my glasses, the less I can see, which is kind of a bummer. But then maybe as we age, our eyes see things softer because when we're looking at somebody across the table or the bed, man, my lips look red in this. They're not this red in person. I think the uh, MAC camera uh, makes the lips more colorful than they actually are because I'm looking in the mirror in natural light, which is the light that tells you, gives you the best reading. It's much, much softer. Anyway, not that colorful lips aren't fun. So let's see. Is that all you wanted to know? Um, eyelash curler. I either use Tweezer Man or Sephora. Um, the curve is what you want to look at if your eyes are very curved and come way out, or if they're more flat that will determine which eyelash curler you like and you may have to buy a few experiment with them and give them to your girlfriends because it's very hard to know ahead of time i like eyelash curlers if i'm gonna wear eye makeup and i'm gonna wear mascara i mean go for broke <laughs> i uh, i think eyelashes are really fun um they're very feminine they uh, give your eyes definition without looking fake because you already have hair, so you're just enhancing the hair. The liner, I normally never ever wear a liner, but I just wanted to show that to you. And uh, I do uh, wear it for the camera. So the mascara I use is Buxom by Bare Essentials. I love the wand. It doesn't flake. It stays soft, so if you want to layer... When you go to the second coat, you know how sometimes your eyelashes can get all crusty and hard? This stays soft so you can add a nice layer. And uh, I like to do the mascara so you don't really notice it too much. Um, and this one's black. Brown is nice too. 
depends on how pale you are or dark you are. If your skin's really dark, like chocolate dark, then black black is good. Um, so remember the movie Bambi, the cartoon? The only difference between the little boy drawings and the little girl drawings in the springtime when Thumper and Bambi and the skunk and they all went and found, you know, the female version of themselves. The only difference in the drawings is the girls had eyelashes. So eyelashes are fun. Eyelashes are pretty. But when I get used to seeing myself like this, like say I've modeled for a few days, you know, been really made up and stuff, and uh, I wake up and I see myself plain Jane, I'm like, oh, and then I want to add makeup and add makeup and add makeup. Makeup is so addictive. It's so easy. And when I was a makeup artist, I was very well aware of it. And I would be making up the models, and then I'd turn and look in the mirror, and I'd be like, oh, God. And then I'd put some makeup on, and then I'd make up the next model. And by the end of the day in the photo studio, <laughs> I mean, I was so made up because I was comparing. So what happens is I get used to myself with makeup, so I purposely don't wear any for a couple weeks. So I get back to appreciating myself naturally and like that. So I hope I have answered your questions as to the order in which to apply your makeup. Um, and I'm posting an article that just came out, the seven no-nos uh, with makeup. After a certain age, when your skin gets looser and you start getting all the little lines and crow's feet and everything, very important. So that'll be posted on the blog probably in the next couple days.